Okay, this video is to help you with a different kind of problem on your two-step equations with tiles. Okay, um, on your next um, lesson with tiles, I'm going to throw in some problems that have fractions in them, fractions within the equations. Um, and we're going to look at different ways to attack these eventually. But what I want you to do today, if you get a problem like problem 9, x over 3 plus 2 is equal to 6. Okay, I want to solve this. Okay, try to think of x over 3 as x divided by 3. Well, if I take a, a regular rectangle x and I break it in 3, I'm going to get a size about this big. Okay, it's like one third of that rectangle. So I'm going to think of this x over 3 as a third of the size of the original x. Okay, one third of an x. Okay, and I still want to figure out what x equals. Okay, the whole thing. I want to know what the entire x equals when I solve this problem. Okay, it's going to look different. I think you'll get start getting used to this. Um, but this is just a visual way to do it before we attack these a different way. Okay, so here's the equation. I'm going to type it in. x over 3, okay, plus 2, balances with 6. Okay, x over 3 plus 2 equals 6. Or x divided by 3 plus 2 is equal to 6. Okay, in the other problems we did, we wanted to get the rectangles kind of alone. Okay, in this problem, I want to get the partial rectangle, the partial x alone. Okay, and I'm going to add or subtract. Okay, in my picture, okay, here's x over 3, here's plus 2, here's equal to 6. In my picture, I have yellows next to my partial rectangle. Okay, if I want to get rid of yellows, I'm going to have you guys take away. Okay, I want you to take away two yellows from the left and take away two yellows from the right. Okay, I'm trying to get the partial rectangle alone. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. I'm going to type in minus 2 from the left. I'm going to type in minus 2 from the right. And then I'm actually going to take them away. Okay, I'm going to take away two yellows from the left. And I'm going to take away two yellows from the right. So now I have a third of the rectangle balancing with 4. Okay, so I'm going to type that in. I have a third of a rectangle balancing with four. Kind of ignore the, the text boxes at the very left and the very right, okay? So I'm going to type in x over three, or x divided by three, balances with four. Okay? Uh, now, okay, think of it this way. You have a third of a rectangle balancing with four. Okay, I want to know what a full rectangle equals. I want to know what the entire x equals. Uh, think of it this way for a second, okay? If the bottom third of your x is equal to four, that means the middle third of your rectangle, if it was there, would also equal 4. Okay, I'll drag those up from the bottom. And that would mean that the top third of your rectangle would also equal 4. Okay, so if you had this, the, the middle third and the top third in your original picture. You don't, but if you did, you'd have four in the middle and you have four more on the top. Okay, so what we just did, okay, notice we have three times as much on the left because we had one third on the left. Now we have three times as much. On the right, we started with four, we ended up with 12. We have three times as much on the right. See, what we really did is we multiplied the left side and the right side by 3 because we have 3 times as much on the left side and the right side. So what we really did is we multiplied both sides by 3. 
I'm going to put times three on the left. Remember, we're going to use, sometimes we use a dot to, to mean multiplication so it doesn't get confused with the variable x. So I multiplied by three on the left. I multiplied by three on the right. So now I know an entire x, my entire x has to balance with 12 altogether. Okay, so I'm going to type in x equals 12. Guys, just do your best on these, okay? Just do your best and don't stress. We're going to do these in different ways, but this is one way to, to do them. Okay, I want to check it. I want to make sure that 12 is right. Okay, I'm going to take my, up here in my original problem, I'm going to take that x part, and I'm going to replace it with the answer that I got, and the answer that I got was 12. I need to check this. Does 12 divided by 3 plus 2, does that give me 6? Okay, divide before you add. Aunt Sally says so. Okay, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Does 4 plus 2 really equal 6? Okay, well, I'm going to take 4 plus 2 and simplify that a little more. Does 6 really equal 6? Okay, it does. So what I did down there, and I can just do the bottom in your head if you want. I really don't care. But what I did is I made sure that 12 gave me the same answer on the left side and the right side of my equation. And it did. Okay, so that means 12 is the right answer. Okay, guys, I can't stress this enough. Okay, this uh, tile way to do the problems is going to help a bunch of you. And some of you, it's not going to help you at all. All I'm asking that you try to do, especially if you're not home, I mean, if, especially if you're not in, in class and being able to experience it in class, just do the best you can. It may help you more than you think. Okay, let me know. Uh, keep emailing me if you have any questions.